Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion 360 Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Fusion's amazing um, version control integration. So uh, as you know, Fusion 360 is cloud integrated, and this all started with Autodesk, which I believe was like a pioneer in that field. They had Inventor, and then they had this software called Vault 360, which was the secondary program that you would run. And then you would have that guy, and that would keep your parts inside of that guy, and then that would keep track of your parts. And then no matter where you went, you can be attached to the internet and be able to download your parts. Before that, it used to be you had to use like a completely separate non-integrated program such as Dropbox, or even I used to email parts to myself so that I can pick them up later and continue. Or save them locally to your computer and do all that stuff. Now with Fusion 360 and other integrations, even at my work, we use Siemen NX with uh, Siemens NX as well as Team Center. But Team Center is a completely separate program uh, that you have to run and then start up NX and then you can have them talk between each other. And Team Center will hold all your parts and pass that information on to NX. In this program, this is, I believe, a seamless integration from Fusion 360, which is it is all built into the same program you do not have to run a secondary program right it's all built into this uh, side data was it called data panel right so anyways uh, one of the cool things that they added I don't think they had it at launch when it was brand new but they added version control so what is that so as you are editing a part and you are saving it it will it'll add to a new version so you see here it has version 9. So if I go here, you say version 3, version 1, version 4, version 2, and then here this bottom cap, which I have uh, uh, open, it says version 9. If I click on that, it'll actually drop down the history of all of the versions. And then if I hit that uh, show all 9 versions, it'll bring out all 9 versions and then show when I've edited them. And then also you see that some of them have a description. And what that description is, is when you do a save, when you modify and do a save, right now I cannot save because I haven't modified anything. So if I do a sketch there, and then I hit save, it'll have this version description come up. And then I could say add, added sketch. And then when I hit OK, uh, when I hit OK or hit enter on the keyboard, this will uh, increment to version 10. Right, so it just did now, and then over here it'll say adds added sketch. So that's a way that you can, if you're collaborating with coworkers or things like that, or have a big group that's working in Fusion, you have your uh, and you guys are collaborating on the same project. You can explain your thought process, and then also this helps you make sure that you save, even though Fusion is very stable. But just in case you're working on a large assembly and a crash is possible in Fusion, but rare. So um, if you can't explain it in a couple words, you probably should you probably should save, right? And so every time that you if if you make this a habit, you can save every time you have an idea of what that version description will be. So for example, here I can say uh, added an extrude and revolt or added this O-ring groove. So that can be like one save: added O-ring groove, added mounting bolt hole circle. Um, you know, added surface detail or added logo or something like that, right? And I believe you could have almost infinite versions. I have some things that are like up to 30, version 30, version 40, right? Anyways, and then also you can use this version control to see where it's used in. So it says does not reference any other designs. So uh, I don't know if I have any of these, but uh, I could see that it's used in the cup assembly. And then also I could see the drawing. And what I can do is I can actually go here, go back to uh, show all versions, and I could open one of these versions. And so I just hit the open button, and so now it's opening uh, the previous V6. So V10 and V6, I think, are the only difference is the material. And you see here, I can click this to get the latest version, which is the V10 that I just created. Or I can hit this file and hit save as latest. And now this V6 will be promoted as, I think it's just going to save it as V10, or sorry, V11, so like a, a newest version. And then now this will be the newest version, and then when you open this part, it's going to open this instead of the previous one. So this is a way of rolling back uh, the versions. And so if you uh, wanted to go in a different direction, obviously I would 
uh, suggest if you want to have a separate alternative is just to save a new part. That's way easier than having to roll it back. But if you've already did it, you can still roll it back to, uh, uh, you can still promote something to the latest version and thus roll the version back. If you see my drift, but the rest of these versions will still be there. So if I do uh, file save as latest, it says a newer version of all. If you save as latest to save your changes as v11, it will not be contain changes introduced by v7 through v10, which would be sevens after this one, and v10 is the one I just created. So if, if I hit OK, this will now be v11, and then I can say new, or you can say promoted v6 to v11. And so now it's going to go and integrate it and bump it up to v11. Right, and so that's as easy as that. And then, if you wanted to uh, see it in a little bit of a bigger picture, you can always hit clear uh, view details on the web, and it will go into your Fusion 360 account on the web, and then load it up, and then you can actually uh, see where it's used in, and see the drawings as well as look at the different versions, and also push it to the desktop to open. And then you could also uh, load the viewer and be able to view it inside your. Um, inside this guy as well as you can also use the Fusion 360 um, phone app to also look at your parts and it looks like this is partially ray traced uh, ray traced um, um, part anyways so uh, those that's the basic little tips and tricks about using version control in Fusion 360 alright so uh, if, you, if you guys like these videos I also teach uh, full um, I teach full classes on beginning Fusion 360 as well as intermediate Fusion 360 as well as I'm working on an advanced Fusion 360. So if you like my uh, teaching style, go ahead and check out my full classes with, uh, with uh, basically um, content such as this in the description. You'll find all the links there, and I will see you guys in the next Tips and Tricks video. Later.